What's a compression fracture of the spine? Each of us understands that our spine is made up of bones, and those bones are, bones are called vertebra. And the vertebra go from the neck down to the sacrum, the very tip of our spine, uh, below our waist. Uh, each of those vertebral bodies uh, stack sort of on top of one another and they fit in a very uniform fashion. And they're made to move or articulate against one another back and forth when we move. That's how our spine moves front and back when we bend. Well, when you fall typically or get in some other accidents where that compression forces are forced down on that vertebra, those bones, those, and they almost look like building blocks or squares, if you look at an x-ray, they can actually compress or get forced down. And it compresses the bones of the vertebra. Uh, most, most of the ones we see are either on the front or on the back, so that it's compressed in a little bit of a wedge fashion. If the doctor who's treating you with a compression fracture is going to measure the extent of that vertebral compression used, using an x-ray and sort of measure whether it's 10, 15, 20, or 30 percent of the height of the vertebrae. Uh, and that's really just the way they use to measure whether it's mild or moderate or, or severe. Um, vertebral compression fractures are painful. They can be life-changing because when that compress, that vertebrae compresses, it's not going to reform. It's, the bone isn't going to grow back. It's not going to re-expand and fill the space that it should have been in. So it changes the way the bones articulate or move against the vertebra above and below. And the whole thing sets up kind of an inflammatory process, which can be very tricky and very difficult to treat. These are serious injuries that need to be treated seriously. Some people, fortunately, recover quite well. But there is a distinct uh, percentage of people that have lingering, persistent complaints from compression fractures, and they are a serious injury.